my therapist says that I cannot go shopping when I feel sad because shopping is instant gratification. I'm gonna feel happy at that moment and then never again. But you know what? I went shopping and I do feel better. Just so you know, don't get your expectations too high, okay? Because it's not my usual Merrill shopping, okay? Usually when I go there, I go thrifting, I go to the local things, and blah, blah, blah. but this time I just needed something specific. I'm going to this party. It's one of the coolest parties in LA. I literally born and raised. Yes, I needed to buy something to go to the party. I didn't know what to do. My initial idea was a long dress, but I couldn't find it. Anyway, I'm gonna start by this name. I'm Brazilian, right? And I really wanted shoes that would look like those soccer shoes that soccer players wear. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that because it's called samba naturally it resembles brazil as well i got it it's very masculine usually i wear around seven or eight you know and this one is eight i thought that you know because it's masculine i would be like okay like give me a seven but it was kind of embarrassing i got this necklace that i am wearing right now it's super cute i've been obsessed with those necklaces that are like black and they have a little thing i was set right everything was 25 percent off you don't judge me i bought a lot of random shit that not that i need but it's cool to have but i want to like redecorate my place i need more stuff in the wall like i have a lot of space in the wall and i have some albums that are so pretty so i was like you know what it's on sale it's 25 percent off it was already 15 dollars okay so i should have bought this before but i'm glad that i bought it now so cute that's so cute okay, let me talk to you for a second you're gonna be the first and only person who is gonna know about that but i'm developing my own clothing line i have some samples right here now every time i go shopping i keep looking for inspirations and i found this t-shirt that is very similar to what i want to do like the fitting the color i've been obsessed with those y2k t-shirts you know i usually don't like wearing t-shirts like that because i don't like having this part of me cover but this one fits so well and it's very very similar to what i want to do for my brand actually i need to do a whole like showing for you and i'm going to show you my favorite everyday t-shirt i also got this t-shirt from the masculine section there's masculine section let's be honest the t-shirts way better jackets way better pants way better so if you're going to urban outfitters to buy like street style stuff go to the male section because it's a way cooler than the female one the rest is good but when i was younger like when i was a teenager 15 whatever i used to like wear a lot of band t-shirts oversized t-shirts and then i stopped i started being more girly and whatever i'm now i'm back on this vibe you know like wearing a really really big oversized t-shirt so i got this one it's m i think i should have got bigger honestly it's that racing vibe I don't really know what to wear for this party. I'm kind of nervous about it. When I thought about my outfit for the party, something like pants and cowboy came to my mind, like some kind of like space cowboy. So I end up getting this top. You know, it's very star girl. It looks good in the body. It feels really good. I mean, the fabric feels really good. But in the body, honestly, it does eat my boobs. It is what it is. You know, I have to sacrifice for the style. Someone has to serve outfits. It's not gonna be me. I got this eye patch under eye because it's glittery. Like, I've been using those eye patches basically every day now when I was younger and I still think okay like until today I always thought that dark circles like the under eye bag was kind of very attractive you know like the dark circles not the bag I manifest that wrongly because I never had dark circles in my life and now I've been having so and I wanted something that I could froze not froze but that could be eyes that I could like reuse oh hello my I I just know this is not gonna work this is to exfoliate and to shave your legs at the same time. But I'm gonna try and if it works, good for us. I'll let you know. Again, I was set, okay? I needed random crap. But I actually do need a tiny microphone because I do wanna interview people at concerts and stuff. And I thought this is really cute because I can put it in my bag and everything. So hopefully this works better. I'm gonna try. I've been obsessed with claws, okay? I like them a lot and I'm going to the party tomorrow. So I thought that patches because baby girl has been having acne. I don't think this is ever gonna stop. Mid twenties, they are here and I'm still getting acne. This is good. It's not as good as everyone says on TikTok, but it's good. It feels like it's cleaning at least. They sent me an email the other day saying that they are a vegan makeup brand that they're all in for natural look honestly i i fell in love with their aesthetic and i was like yeah for sure let's try so they sent me eye makeup now that is november the industry is shutting down so you know everyone who works in the music industry is finally breathing for a little and then chaos is gonna start all over again so i wanted to enjoy this moment where nobody's releasing albums nobody's in tour i am not following anyone on tour at right now i did want to you know make a new video i didn't want to connect with people i want to be like hey i'm still here okay so that's it i hope you guys liked the video if you did don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up and if you didn't me neither